When Facebook implemented the special ad category, which limits being able to geographically target someone, when they made those changes, doing things like just listed, just sold in a neighborhood, or farming an area, that became more difficult and in fact near impossible using the Facebook targeting system. In today's video, what I'm gonna be showing you is how to bypass that and still be able to geo-target specific areas and neighborhoods just with a little bit of a change of strategy. Take a look. Hey everyone, Kevin Small with 2Q Lead Generation Strategies. If you're new to our channel, welcome, we're glad you're here. What we're all about is helping real estate agents just like you generate more leads, set more appointments, and close more deals. So if you're after more leads, appointments, and deals, this is absolutely the place to be. Please consider subscribing. Love to have you here as part of our community. Now, in today's video, what we're gonna be talking about is how to geographically target an ad in spite of the special ad category limitations that uh, exist now um, with the changes that Facebook has made over the last year, year and a half. So with that, um, before I get into that topic, down in the description below, you'll find a link to our Facebook master's class. It's two hours of free training showing you our best practices, the things we've learned after generating over 50,000 leads, uh, what we're doing to generate leads, turn them into appointments, and close more deals. So go check that out. It's free. It's uh, time well spent. So with that, let's go ahead and jump into today's training. What we're going to talk about is how to geographically target ads in spite of the Facebook limitations. So with that, let me, <clears throat> let me go ahead and share my screen here. And we'll, I'll show you how we do this. So just to kind of set the stage and talk about this, when you're using the targeting that's built into the Facebook ads platform, that's where a lot of these limitations um, come into play. So I'm going to go ahead and just uh, select traffic. That's fine for what, just for the purposes of this tutorial. Um, so yes, it is a special ad category for housing. And by doing that, that's when a lot of limitations start coming in. So because of that, you'll notice I can't target based on age, right? It's locked. I can't target based on gender. It's unavailable. And when I go into the locations, if I wanted to geographically target the ad, um, like, uh, you know, if I was to punch in a zip code, uh, something like that, you'll notice it automatically defaults to a 15 mile radius. So if I do an address, a zip code, a um, city, it'll automatically default to 15 miles inside Facebook and I cannot reduce that. I cannot go any lower. For whatever reason, Facebook has determined 15 miles is non-discriminatory for advertising purposes. And so um, that's the first thing that you, you got to be aware of is these are the limitations. So how do we bypass that? How do we target specific neighborhoods? So the reasons why you would want to do specific neighborhoods, let's say you were doing, you had just sold a home in a neighborhood and a lot of times agents will send out postcards to you know, postcards to that neighborhood talking about, hey, we just sold this home. If you've thought about selling, we've got other buyers in the area, that kind of marketing. So that would be one type of marketing you'd wanna do that's still geographically focused. Um, another one would be, let's say you're farming a neighborhood where you're just repetitively marketing to the neighborhood over and over again. So that kind of marketing, it's, it's very difficult to do that with the, um, with the restrictions that Facebook has put into play inside the special ad category. So how do we bypass that? Well, let me show you. The way that we do that is we do it through what's called the audiences section. So Facebook has the custom audiences feature. And if you go into the audiences portion of your business manager account, then you'll see this. Now, the way that we do it is by creating a custom audience based on a customer list. So the customer list feature, you can upload a list and run ads directly to the list. So in order to do it, you still can, it just requires having a list of the people that you wanna to market to. So a lot of times title companies can provide you with a neighborhood list. Um, some of your brokerages probably subscribe to some sort of data service where you can pick a neighborhood or pick an area and it will give you um, their phone number and email address. Right? The main information that's required in order to do this is phone number and email address. Um, if you've never uploaded a 
uh, a customer list inside Facebook before. I'll put a link to a tutorial right here where you can go watch how to do that. Um, I'll show you step by step. It's not that complicated, but it does require having a phone number or email address. The reason why is when people are creating their free Facebook account, that's the information that they're providing to Facebook. So when we upload that list, Facebook is scanning all those user accounts looking for matching data. And every time it finds a match, it pulls that person into, the, into this custom audience. And that's who we're targeting. Um, there's also data services out there that you can subscribe to. I used to use one called Cole Realty Resource. I used that for a while. Um, they do have a great data effect on that one. You can pick a, a specific address, you can draw a box around a neighborhood, and it'll give you a list of contact information for people around there. Uh, you can do like a one mile radius or, uh, it, it, again, it's pretty um, detailed as far as what you can do. Um, yes, you are paying for that service, um, but again, it's it's the way that you would get the list. So that's what is required. You do have to have a list to do it. And the customer, um, the customer list, custom audience, that's a mouthful, um, that is the way that we bypass this. So once you've got that list um, loaded up, what happens is inside your ad, when you're doing the targeting, you're just simply going to select that custom audience for the targeting for the list. And you can still geo, you know, geographically target any ad that you want to do. So it just requires having a list. And again, having a list service is probably one of the best ways of doing it. Uh, like I said, the, your title company may be able to help you. Your brokerage may have some of those tools and resources. Uh, there's a good chance they have it and you're just not using it. Um, this would be a very viable use for that. So that is how you can still geographically target your ads in spite of the Facebook limitations. It just requires that you have your own list and you can still do it to your heart's content. So. Hopefully that was valuable. If so, take a split second, click that thumbs up button down below. We appreciate your support. Also, if you haven't considered subscribing to our channel, please do. Uh, we put out brand new content like this every single week. So click the subscribe button, click the bell notification, and you'll be notified every time we do that. Um, I'll also put up a couple of videos here that you can watch, more strategies, more tips to help you grow your business. And if you're curious about our services, where we do this marketing for you, uh, down in the description below, you'll find more information about that. So that is it. Make it a great week. Keep crushing it in your real estate business. As always, if we can help, let us know. Uh, otherwise, we will see you on the next video. Take care.